Okay guys, we have possibly come to the most satisfying and probably the most important step in the construction of the actual research paper and that is making the outline. And you are going to find out that EasyBib has been helping you along the way probably so much but in creating the outline is where you're going to get the most help. And it's so simple. Okay, so the idea is is that we have these groups and they're going to form the structure of our paper. And so how do we get these into our group, into an outline? Um, typically what we would do is we would take out a sheet of paper, if these were traditional note cards, and we would begin to recopy this information onto um, the paper. And you would start to think about what order perhaps the note cards should appear, um, as well as the fact that they have been put into groups. Now, watch what you do on EasyBib. It's pretty amazing. So I've got this whole group called Personal Beliefs. I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to slide it all the way over here to the right and kablam! It made you an outline. And we do it with all three groups. Or however many groups of course you end up with in your paper. But I would suggest probably no more than five. Unless it's a killer research paper. So now I have these three groups. Now one of the most important things is that your groups should appear, the outline should be in the same order that you have previewed in your thesis. Now you could change your mind about what order that you put the thesis in and then you could go back and change the thesis. Um, but if you like the order that the concepts appear in your thesis then what you need to do is you need to change them here in the outline. Okay, so since I think that family and personal history should come first, then what I'll do is I just highlight by clicking and then I use the promote button to bring it to the top and you can see it brings everything else in the group with it. And then I also had decided that I thought personal beliefs should be last, so I use the demote button and now I have my groups in order. Then it becomes important that you actually think about the logical order that each of the notes should come. And, and the reason why it's important to do that is because oftentimes students will forget this step and then um, they'll try to weave it together even though there's no logical order and what they end up with with something that comes off choppy and confused. But if you really spend some time thinking about the logical order that these notes um, and pieces of evidence come in, then your paper is going to have a natural kind of flow and, and that's not just in the reading of it but in the writing as well. Okay, so if we take a look, the very first note, the very first one that we made together in these videos was the one about his ancestor. And I feel like that that one should come first because since this the group is family and personal history, it seems logical to follow chronological order. So then this next note was about the background of his family. So I'm going to promote that to right under the ancestor. And then of course his childhood ended up next, which makes sense. And because I'm the one that actually made the note, I know that his father's death happened during his childhood. And I know that he went to college before he met his wife. And I know that, of course, he had a child after he got married. And I know that his reliable, unreliable income is what led him to return to Salem, where the um, family originated. So I would do the same thing in the other groups, though they're probably not going to have the same kind of clear chronological order. But um, in the case of Franklin Pierce, whom he met during college, I kind of feel like that that one should be first. And then Longfellow, that he also knew uh, during and right after college, would be next. And then um, probably the social thinkers, because he got involved with them at a young age. And then I know he met Emerson later in his life, um, and Melville around middle age, or probably more like in his mid-30s, so we'll go ahead and switch the order of those two. 
now the next one, the personal belief section, obviously there isn't going to be any kind of chronological order to that, so I really have to think about how these things should appear. Well, his um, thoughts on Puritanism were influenced by his family, so I'm going to say that one's first. I can always change my mind later. And then, well, no, nope, I think his early work should come first. And then I would say transcendentalism should come before I discuss his skepticism of transcendentalism. And then his early works were heavily influenced by psychology and folklore. Still have that spelling error I need to fix. So I'm going to put those closer to his early works. And now that I've taken this time to really think about the order that things should be appear in, um, and because I know the quotes that are inside each one of the note cards, it's going to be a lot easier for me to write my final paper. Okay, so again, I might have made that seem a little bit easy, or perhaps you're not impressed at all, but I would encourage you to not try to do this step too quickly, to really take your time and think about um, the most logical progression of each of the groups and the subpoints on those groups. And then in the next video, I'm going to show you how to export your outline. And it will be the basis of your paper. So one more video to go, guys.